Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in London. One day, she went outside in her Sunday best and got soaked in the rain. When she returned home, her mother beat her severely for being so stupid as to ruin her best clothes. After that, the little girl never went anywhere without an umbrella, and if she forgot it, she'd have a panic attack and run back home to get it. Now flash forward 25 years, and the little girl is a woman who lives and works in Phoenix, Arizona. And wherever she goes, she carries her umbrella. And if she forgets it, she has a panic attack and runs back home to retrieve it. So what has happened to this woman's brain? Well, you might think she still thinks she'll be beaten by her mother if she gets wet in the rain, but she's not stupid. She knows her mother lives in London, so why does she keep carrying the umbrella? Well, the answer is this. The stimulus of realizing that she's left home without an umbrella still triggers the old protective programming in her lower brain, called fight or flight, that instantly floods her with the same panic she felt as the little girl who feared being beaten by her mother. So why does this still happen? Because every time in the past that she avoided her flooding anxiety by running home and retrieving her forgotten umbrella, she reinforced the old protective programming in her lower brain so it never had an opportunity to be upgraded to the present reality that she is an adult woman who can get soaked in the rain and nothing terrible will happen. All her lower brain remembers is that leaving home without an umbrella is dangerous and the only way to decrease the panic is to retrieve the umbrella. Many of us still have lower brain reactions to past pain and trauma that keep us locked in patterns of behavior that no longer makes sense. For example, imagine that I learned as a child to avoid confrontation with my alcoholic dad and thus became a compulsive confrontation avoider, which now is negatively affecting my marriage because I won't discuss any problems with my wife because I fear an argument. So let's get back to the girl in the umbrella. By understanding and becoming aware of her old programming, possibly through therapy, she now has the opportunity to slowly reprogram her brain to present reality by no longer running from her panic. Thus, each time she intentionally leaves home without her umbrella and instead uses mindfulness and self-talk to practicing managing her panic, her lower brain will slowly be reprogrammed from the latent memory of a traumatic past to the reality of a safe present. So after a lot of feeling the fear and doing it anyway, she will eventually be able to leave home comfortably without an umbrella because her lower brain will be perfectly in tune with present reality. We all have some protective umbrellas that were built by trauma and pain and maintained by avoidance, which may have helped us survive a painful childhood, but now have become obstacles to becoming the person we want to be. Finding our mindful brain from where we can observe our protective umbrellas as they appear in the present moment offers the choice to confidently feel the fear and do it anyway, so we can heal and grow. If you would like help uncovering old programming that is unhelpful and healing past trauma, visit my website serenityonlinetherapy.com to learn more about me and the services I provide. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want to hear more from me, then subscribe to my channel, Counselor Carl. I will be publishing a new video every other weekend. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time. <laughs>